Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. The Young and the Restless, Summer and Kyle fight over Harrison, Katie changes her opinion of Claire, and Sharon's family checks on her. Kyle catches Victor in his office at Newman before he can leave for the night. Victor reminds him they don't have an appointment, and they wouldn't be conducting business in his office either. They will never discuss Glissade there. The abbot actually wants to discuss why Victor warned Claire to stay away from him. Sitting with drinks, Victor explains they both know how pathetic Claire's life has been. He was just cautioning her about any budding relationship with a young man. Kyle assures him they are only friends. Victor reminds him that she grew up with that terrible Jordan woman, and Claire has little experience of the outside world. Added to that, there's all the friction between her and Summer. Kyle tells him he doesn't need to be protective. Victor repeats that Claire has no experience, and he is very protective of his family. Do not take any advantage of her naivety, or our budding cooperation will turn into enmity, he warns. Kyle repeats that he would never take advantage of Claire. She is inspirational, and he's in awe of her. He enjoys her company, and the connection she has with his son is incredible. Maybe that's why he feels comfortable opening up to her. It almost hurts him that Victor thinks he could take advantage of her. He's not sure where he stands with him. Does he even trust him? Smiling, Victor tells him that no one ever knows where they stand with him. However, the Newman trusts him, and he said all the right things. He appreciates how protective he's been of Claire, too. They are on the verge of a war with Jebut, and things are about to get very messy. He doesn't want Harrison or his granddaughters to be anywhere near the looming Abbott War. Summer is waiting for her son at the Abbott Mance. He arrives with Claire and rushes over to his mom, telling her about his awesome day. They stop to watch the pink sunset. Summer camp is okay, but he's having more fun hanging out with Claire. She reminds him of all the stuff he was doing and the silly song they taught him at camp. As they start singing and clapping to Mary Mac, Summer does her best not to scowl. She has to drink some water. Claire gets ready to go, and Harrison reminds her to bring the stuff for tomorrow's adventure in the park. Sensing how awkward this is, Claire heads for the door. Harrison rushes over and stops her so they can do their special handshake before she exits. Harrison returns to his mother. She brings up Kyle's plan to move him into a new house and asks how he feels about that. Happy Harrison is fine with his dad moving. He can take everything with him, get new stuff, and decorate his room as he wants. His dad urged him to think of it as an adventure, and that has him excited. Summer asks how he'd feel about an adventure with her. She's looking for a real home for them. He's happy to hear he will get another bedroom. She adds he can help her pick out the right house. Throwing his arms around her, he says he'd love that. Summer gets them snacks. As Harrison eats cookies, Kyle walks in and stands in the doorway as he hears his son ask his mom if she's asking him to choose between her house and his daddy's. After making his presence known, his son tells him he's going to have two new rooms. Kyle is surprised she's moving from the hotel. Once Harrison leaves to wash up for dinner, Kyle demands to know what that was. The timing of Summer's move is questionable given that he's doing the same thing. She says she wants to spend more time with their son, but claims she's not trying to convince him to live with her. Her ex is sure that she knows a judge would frown on her living in a hotel. This is part of her trying to change the custody agreement. She refuses to fight about this when Harrison can walk in. But she will do all in her power to make sure he has the most stable life possible. Can he claim the same thing? Johnny swoops in to grab the last bite of an eclair from Katie as they are having a snack with their mother at Crimson Lights. When Victoria tells them Claire surprised her with one the other day, Katie complains about how hard she's trying to get her to like her new sister. She refuses to be instant besties with someone she hardly knows. Cole walks in and that sets her off. 
she can understand why he is always around rather than off somewhere with his daughter. Ever since I got back, it's Claire, Claire, Claire. Nothing is the same. I'm sorry if I find that annoying, she complains. Her brother thinks she's being cringe. Billy